My name is Sally McCarrath. I'm an architect. The beginning of projects is very, very exciting. We make models out of bits of cardboard. We put the music on, we use masking tape. It's quite crude, but we use those materials as a way to explore ideas. Sometimes we pin up samples, sometimes we pin up drawings and we talk about them, often reaching for imagery of similar things that convey the narrative that I'm trying to communicate. For every new project, I like to design one piece bespoke for that project. I'm even doing jewellery. For some ideas, I might start with a sketch. I mean, typically I'll reach for a, a soft pencil and I just, I'll actually rip a piece of detailed paper. I, I, I don't have a precious sketchbook particularly. It'll be quite loose, I'll have a go, another go, and then I'll walk over to somebody on the team. We'll then put it into the computer for something that's maybe a more precise way of pushing the idea. But there's something very dry about a computer drawing, and I don't think that great buildings come out of a process which is entirely done on a computer. I don't see architecture as the creation of something static. I think things move through time and also the way that people move through buildings. Certainly, for instance, if you design a staircase, I'm thinking about the way it feels when you touch it, the speed at which you go up that staircase, how it's lit, how the shadows fall on it, from it. And so we're constantly thinking about those things. So yes, it might come down to a few millimetres and it's a job that's about precision and it's about engineering, but it's also about pace and procession and timing and poetry. So it, it is the fusion of, of two extremes. I like to explore materials and bring very conflicting, unorthodox materials together concrete and cashmere, smooth and soft. I mean, those are the things that create exciting and unique architecture, I think. Another thing I love about my job is there is no typical day. I'll sometimes have a conference call, a project we're doing in Hong Kong, and then I'll jump in the car and go across to a building site and have a site meeting maybe with contractors. We'll monitor what's going on on site. The process for me is much more interesting. Everybody's looking at the end product, but the process itself for me is absolutely the fascinating bit. That's the real journey. I mean, I do love the cranes and the cement. The fact that it looks so dingy and dark and dirty, out of the earth comes this kind of pristine thing, and that's, that's, that's the exciting bit. <laughs>